This is the PowerG Wireless Smoke and Heat Detector. It is an advanced, photoelectric detector that sends early reliable warnings in the case of smoke or fire. Built on a superior core platform and fully certified by strict international standards, this detector provides powerful protection along with simple installation and maintenance. Let's see how to attach the detector's mounting base to the installation surface. Start by choosing the correct location to place the detector according to the installation instructions. You can install it on the wall, if local laws permit, or ceiling. Drill two holes in the surface at the correct distance apart. Insert two screws, one on each side of the mounting base, and attach it to the surface. This is how to insert the batteries in the detector. Before inserting the batteries for the first time, you'll need to enroll the device in the control panel. Please check the installation instructions to do so. Grasp the detector in the palm of your hand, facing downwards. Use three AAA batteries. Insert the batteries one by one, and make sure to insert the battery's negative polarity first. Press them down and click them into place. Installing the detector on the mounting base is easy. Place the detector underneath the mounting base, with the detector's alignment notch slightly offset from the mounting base notch. Turn the detector clockwise until it clicks into place, and the tabs on both the detector and mounting base are aligned and secured. This is how to replace the batteries once the detector is already installed. Hold the detector in the palm of your hand and rotate it counterclockwise to release it from the mounting base. Insert a small flathead screwdriver between one battery's positive polarity and the battery contact. Lift the battery gently with the help of the screwdriver. Repeat to release each battery one by one. After one minute, insert three new AAA batteries into the battery compartment. Make sure each battery is facing the correct direction. Then close the detector by rotating it clockwise on the mounting base until you hear a click.